When you're installing a color change wrap, you need to use a lot of heat, especially on the broad stretches, areas like bumpers, hoods, and spoilers. You're gonna to need to choose the heat source. So which is better, a heat gun or an infrared heater? Wrapping this bumper requires a classic broad stretch. We need to heat this whole area here, which is difficult because the heat gun is going to put a concentrated amount of heat in this spot and nothing here. Then when I move the heat gun down to heat this spot, this area is going to cool. As I pull the vinyl around the bumper, some areas will stretch more than others, which means I may need to snap them up and apply them again. The image on the right is from a thermal imager and shows the temperatures we are getting as well as the heat signatures of the area I am working in. Notice the center point of the heat gun bloom is white and goes as high as 205 degrees Fahrenheit. But as I put the heat gun down and start to stretch the vinyl around the bumper, the temperature quickly drops to 150 degrees and then 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This inconsistency can lead to many difficulties. Since the heat gun can only produce regional heat, you are forced to install the bumper in small sections, with a hot spot in each one, which often leads to overstretching, causing discoloration or a scarred finish. Usually, this type of installation requires two or more installers, making labor costs go higher. When we use an IR heater, we are able to heat a wide band like this. Notice that I have left the liner on the vinyl, keeping it tensioned from top to bottom. As I start to lay the vinyl down, I will continue to pull the liner off, which helps keep the stretch even from top to bottom. In this video, I have someone moving the IR heater for me, but as you go around the bumper, you can pull the rolling heater stand with you with your foot so that the application happens in one smooth motion. Using an IR heater, one installer can easily install a bumper like this alone. As you can see, the area being installed stays within a range of 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The main stretch is done now adjust the heater and begin wrapping the lower part of the bumper. One of the biggest advantages to using an IR heater is that your hands are free to work while the vinyl is being heated. The IR heater feels warm on my skin, but since I'm always moving this has never led to problems. Here I have the heater a little closer, but still the vinyl stays within a range of 110 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It's clear to see that infrared heaters emit more even heat, which gives you more control over your broad stretch.